Hello guys. So it's the first time that I'm going to use um, the new microphone. So let me know if you guys like this more. I'm going to clip it on somewhere. Thing is, I'm not sure if I can have the necklace on because it might annoy it. But today we're going to talk about crystals. Also clear quartz, because clear quartz is one of the crystals that I always have on me. Let's see if I can get it to... Uh, doo -doo -doo. So we are going to try it with this baby. Let me know if you guys can hear the difference in the sound from my older videos, if you guys like this more. Do I sound like a storyteller now? <laughs> Today we are going to talk about your go-to powerful crystal set. And I will say it is important to have a go-to crystal set. And this can also change from time to time, so it doesn't have to be the same all the time. It is also different from person to person, but we are going to talk about like the crystal gang. Crystals that can help you, you know, in your day-to-day -day routine. One of the best ways how to find your crystal gang, your crystal set, is to spend time with your crystals. Feel the energy and how they affect you in like different situations. And everyone's tribe will be different, but I'm just going to talk about like the basic go-to set that is really going to help with a lot of things in your day-to-day. -day. And the first crystal is rose quartz. Um, you could obviously get rose quartz in different sizes. This is the biggest piece that I have at the moment. I did have a little necklace, but it did break. Um, I also have smaller pieces, but again, this is the, the biggest piece I have. It's always really, really, really pink in the color. I really love it. It's really, really, you know, it's just vibrating on a very positive and peaceful level. Rose Quartz is there to embrace and love your true self. It is the stone of the heart. But not only your heart, but also other people around you's heart and life itself. It's beautiful, it's warm, and it has a very calming pulse. And it is radiating unconditional love. It is actually, um, one of the things that I, for myself, experience is that if I have a fever, it's, you know, it's calming it down, it's slowing down my pulse if it's too high. So again, see rose quartz as, again, as the you know the calming energy like all the the very heavy aggressive energy that you feel in your body it's really going to slow it down it is also one of the stones that's going to help you understand divine timing better it can be polished it can be um, raw it can be again small it can be big it can be very very pink but it can also be a little bit more faded i know some people say that the more pink it is the more like charged it is um but i actually would love to know if any of you guys know if it's true that the more pink it is the more powerful it is or if it's just like the natural color of the rose quartz. And you can hold it in your hands, you can have it in your pocket, you can put it on your forehead, you can meditate with it, you can do everything with it. And I will say you can do that with all crystals. You can also have it under your pillow, you can have it close to the bed. This soft, peaceful pink stone really heighten and optimize love. Like within you like from the deep you and it really encourages love into every essence of you it really works perfectly together with your higher self also your spirit guides are really drawn to it and your angels rose cards really allows you to explore love in everything you do every day it is said to be the compass of your heart like really guiding you lovingly to what it is that you really 
need in life where you really need to be people that you need to have in your life in order to really make you grow and expand more in your life again it's really it's a very very pure energy and if your ego or your mind is really stressing you out or really screaming at you to potentially moving in a misdirection you never have to fear moving in the wrong direction if you have this magical crystal it's always going to be there for you it's going to be there for you when if you wish to feel the love of life within your heart and your bones it's going to be there for you if you wish or if you long for unconditional love or again for the right person to come into your life or if you wish more compassion while you are dealing with very stressful situations or overwhelming events in your life again <laughs> With the Christmas time, this would actually be a very good uh, crystal to have uh, with you. But really allow her to work with you and to guide you because she is a guider. The next crystal that we have is Tiger Eye. I just have a little piece. Tiger Eye is... Um, it's not like it's new for me, but I actually never really paid that much attention to it. So... It, Tiger Eye is one of the crystals that I recently like rediscovered. My mom always had Tiger Eye on her and you know me learning more about crystals really made me like realize that Tiger Eye is actually you know it deserves to be in this go-to crystal set like a little helping kit for you guys. But Tiger Eye is for inner strength it is for confidence and i guess that we all could really use more confidence in our day to day especially in this age that we are living in this is by the way a very good crystal to give your daughter or your son um if they have if if they have any struggles in school um if they have a low self if they have low self esteem tiger is perfect to uh, you know to give to them so that they can have have it in their pockets or anything else is obviously also if you are struggling with like strength or with um, <clears throat> confidence you know again this baby is gold it is the protector and the ultimate like confidence booster and just me holding this gives me some kind of like confidence boost when i'm talking with you guys <laughs> and in the beginning when I had to do YouTube and I had to sit down and talk with people that, you know, that I couldn't see, it's, it was a struggle and, you know, back then I could really have used Tiger Eye um, every day. So if you do want to do YouTube, again, Tiger Eye. This baby really allows you to see and move through the doubts that you have moves you through the darkest shadows of your life it's a good stone to have for shadow work as well again i do want to have a big piece of a tiger eye that i can have close to me but again the tiny crystals are good to have you know um like every day you can put it in your your bra if you are a girl because that's what i always do i always have my bra filled up with crystals so i'm ready for the day i can conquer the whole entire world with my crystals in my bra <laughs> let me know if any of you guys know that feeling it really gets to the burning point um with passion and tiger eye really fires up the passion in your day it's bridging the challenges that you have the fears that you have the old paradigm the old doubt that you have paradigm shift if you're working with shifting your paradigm tiger eye is also good because this red brown golden little baby is your bodyguard see tiger eye as your bodyguard it's really enabling you to move through your day with calm inspired fashion and cloaked in confidence you know it's that fancy suit tiger eye really promotes the sharpness of your inner side your third eye so we can see things how they really are it also really straightens us in time of change which i think we all are going through 
here in December because we are going into a complete new year. So we are all going, you know, around with ideas of what it is that we actually want now. So we are making huge changes. So again, Tiger Eye is a must. Bring Tiger Eye if you are going to, you know, a major, very important meeting. Job interview. Your first date even. Because again, it's your bodyguard because it makes you see what you're supposed to see, but it's it also um, gives you this confidence and um, the you know this calm, fascinated energy. And if you are having a day where you don't have energy or where you really need like this confidence booster you can meditate with the tiger eye and i will say that again you can hold it in your hands you can put it under your pillow you can do whatever you want but it works per perfectly with your third eye so put it you know on your third eye close your eyes and really you know go into this astral travel where you are being guided to visions so that you know what it is that you're supposed to do especially when it's about big changes it's also you know <laughs> it's that kind of stone that's going to help you in a situation where you are afraid to fall over your own two feet allow tiger eye to help you witness your own inner strength your own confidence and to really carry it proudly with you every day then we have the beloved amethyst i have a lot of different amethysts I probably pronounced some of those crystals wrong. I'm sorry <laughs> for that. I actually have um, one that's shaped in a key. Um, so again, you can get um, these crystals in whatever shape. This is actually clear and it has the, the purple tip. So again, they don't have to be all purple because they do come in different shapes and forms. Amethyst is really there to soothe your soul with clarity and calm. This amazing little baby really helps you with emotional rivers. It really, actually really perfect for any astral work where you work with water. I do have a guided meditation that I made some time ago. Um, amethyst would be perfect to have, again, to hold in your hand or to put on your third eye or to have on your throat chakra or your chest, whatever, wherever you feel that you need it. Again, it's going to calm the emotional river that you carry inside of you. Also on days where you feel very sad, amethyst is perfect because it really promotes a balance within ourselves. And it also reminds us of our own sen sensitivity, which is a good thing because sometimes we do hide our emotions because we feel that we are too sensitive to the world. Sometimes, again, it's just a matter of how to balance the river. So I will say it can be a very great ally um, in your day to day. It really prevents us fr from becoming drunk with feelings or from drowning while we are doing a very emotional time. It really helps you to lift a delicate veil between the spirit world. It's the guideline between the physical and the spiritual. This life and other dimensions. If you do other dimensional work, this is also perfect. Me and Kiri actually talked about other dimensions and yesterday I had this like suddenly I just understood what everything was about. You know if you have seen uh, the videos that we made on my vlog channel but also the Terra Tech video, but I'm going to make a key and going to make a Kiri. <laughs> but I'm going to do a video together with Kiri where we talk about it because other dimensions are connected with the past, but it's also connected with the future, also past lives. So stay tuned for that magic. It does help you connect the bridge between the other dimension. It helps you channeling. It helps you understand the spiritual more. If you're going through a spiritual awakening, again, this is also 
going to help you a lot. It really drives fast on emotional experiences. And it is going to help you if you feel that you are in a very tricky situation. It's also going to help you with clarity in situations, in big or small decisions. She, again, she, she is really going to help you um, in a very peaceful way. The next crystal we have is Citrine. Citrine, I love Citrine. I have so many of them. Um, I even have it in or uh, on my bracelet. I don't know if it wants to focus. But Citrine is really, I mean, this is a magical baby. I also have Citrine here. I, by the way, I also have Amethyst here. So again, always have that magic on me. I just had tingling sensation on my leg. <laughs> Oh well, <laughs> the citrine is to dance, enjoy and swim in success. Crystal, kind of crystal. This is a very abundant crystal. This is really, it's going to really, you know, make money come into your life very fast and very quick, very easy. Fast and quick is the same. <laughs> It's also a cleanser. It actually cleanses itself. It doesn't really need to to lay close to um, like the selenite. It doesn't actually need to go out and get recharged with the full moon. But again, I always do it because I love it. You can also recharge it with the sun because it is obviously the crystal of the sun. This magical sunshine yellow crystal is the skeleton key of abundance. And this doesn't only mean bringing in the big cash and success, but also financial, professional and spiritual success, personal success. It's much like the sun burning through the gray clouds. Citrine really burns off negativity and it's really great to have um, in your home. Especially if you have been in an argument, it's going to cleanse, you know, the leftovers from that argument. It's like removing the leftover hangover. If you can say that it removed the, the like the gray areas in your home if you have a room where you feel that it's like heavy or if you feel that something happened in your home or you know in that room you can again work with citrine and put it you know in the corners of the room because it's really going to suck that negativity in and it's going to release it but it's really going to tap into your your natural flow of abundance. It's going to um, remove the blocks and the stone from the river. I always have this visualization where I visualize a long river and a money is flowing down that river. And sometimes when I get too stuck up in material things or I block the money flow, I have a lot of stones in a way in that river. So amethyst, or oh, amethyst, <laughs> citrine is really helping me remove those big stones from the river so that the money can flow. The last crystal we're going to talk about is the clear quartz. I have um, a big piece I actually recently got and I really, 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 really love it. But I always have this um, necklace on. Um, and I do feel that sometimes clear quartz get like overlooked. Like it's just like, oh, it's just clear. It's just, you know, it's just a normal crystal. We do sometimes tend to get fascinated about colorful crystals or like watermelon crystal or, you know, all those fancy um, crystals. But we sometimes forget how powerful this little baby actually is. Because this stone is for mega huge high vibration and yes it is a very common you know crystal it's very it's it's a very easy crystal it has a very easy energy but it's you know nonetheless it's very powerful and it helps you if life throws you in a spin suddenly and life does tend to do that you know without a warning and sometimes if we feel that we have lost our sense of self or our life purpose works perfectly together with life purpose. Clear quartz is there to put the puzzle together. Like it removes the fog 
the mist of the mind that you know that blocks you and we do have this like feeling that we sometimes really want to just tap into something very natural within us and you know clear quartz is here to help you with that because again it's natural it's very see-through it's very like it's like energy and we are all made out of energy regardless of the skin or the color or the hair or you know the shape we are made out of energy and you know the same with clear quartz very it's just very sharp and very clear get to the point kind of crystal it helps you put your feet down in the water and make ripples because sometimes we are afraid of that sometimes we we just want you know we just want things to be like like easy but we tend to to make things so much harder for ourselves because we just want to hide ourselves away and clear quads you know it really makes you understand how important it is to make ripples in life um, you know do the skipping stone is that how you call it and it really makes us remember that there is a greater strength in numbers in synchronicities in like just signs it really helps you open up and see synchronicities and signs especially numbers it is connected with angel numbers it really allows you to raise above all the chatter all the chaos like if you see yourself standing in traffic you know chaotic traffic this is like the magic that swift swift away all the chaos and back in the days um, the native um, americans used it for they had huge pieces of it and they were you know they looked through it because they could see like the future or they could see signs or they could see the truth so if you have a huge piece of clear quads you can use it as a divination tool you can you can do so many things because you can put it in water and you can look at it and see if you see signs or you know numbers whatever you can put it close to the flame and see through it um, you can put it up to the sky and see through it it's like a compass i have sometimes i have days where i you know put this little baby you know up to the sky and i see if i can see something and most of the times i do see like like again synchronicities or small things like um a cloud shapes in a form of something or i see a clover or you know like many things that has some kind of symbolic meaning so that i understand what it is that i need but it really it helps you get to a higher state it helps you connect with your higher self it helps you connect with you know the universe and your angels if you ever feel the need to prove to yourself that you are vibrating on a high fragrance this is the stone that's going to prove it to you again it's also connected with past life it's also connected with other dimensions especially if you get them like they have a point to like the sides so this is going to be everything for today guys i really hope that you learn something new about crystals i hope you guys um understand more how important it is to have your your go-to set that you're always carrying with you again you don't need to have big pieces you can have like jewelry ju jewelry i always say that wrong <laughs> you can have rings you can have like you know bracelets whatever it is i just want to talk about the high vibrational calming loving crystals because i know that's what you guys like are hungering for but if this helped you please let me know in a comment below if you have your own go-to crystals again mine is also slightly different because i always have um like the black what is it called Tom, turmal tourmaline i can't remember what it's called you guys know what i mean and i always have my pyrite with me also green jade and adventuring but i will do more videos with my other crystals because there's so many and i have a playlist i'm going to post up here with um the crystal videos that i have 
had time to do up till now again more will come if you haven't already please make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye you, you just leave it up to me take a trip to the stars i can show you it all you you just leave it up to me i can show you my world we can go through it all you